you. I just turned three down. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, now it's up. Uh -huh. all, right. all right. Well, I'm sending the invite now. Here we are. We're back again playing backgammon against okay. Ian. Um, and, you know, the forecast looks like it's probably going to be more domination, but you never know. So. All right. So, 3-2 <laughs> open, pretty standard there. There, Yeah, there are, um, I mean... I've I've seen it advocated to play the other way, but I pretty strongly disagree just on my own experience. Like I, I guess I can't disagree that strongly, and I do not. This is kind of an awkward roll, but I think this looks okay. Oh, uh, I uh, pulled that five three. Um, the what was it? The thirteen ten thirteen eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today and um. I got just the weirdest look. It's like, where did you learn to play that opening like that? Yeah. Why did you not make your three point? And I said, McGrill definitely. Um, I said I'm almost certain McGrill recommends that the thirteen ten thirteen eight is the five three open. And I looked it up, and sure enough, it, it, that's correct. Um, it, that is what he said. But it's like, if you look up commentary on that, it's like, yeah, that's how McGrill recommended it. But uh, it's considered questionable like completely at this point so um story checks out i suppose i'm just yeah i'm just not that bold and i was really hoping you would miss that kill because you were distracted with some story but <laughs> um, I, well i think today uh, i think it should be a little better because playing live i think you're gonna have more distractions Ooh, that's a winner nice it's rare that not making your five point with a two one there is Clearly, no, it's clearly smart, but... Yeah. Let's see. Man, it's great again, having the full recorder. I paid the $15 for a year, and I'm hoping that's yeah. going to motivate me to play a lot more backgammon. Yeah, that's really uh, definitely good. I was listening to the genius analysis today, and it cut off at the end. What did the uh, the genius uh, podcast. Oh, interesting. Episode two, it well, like cut off like you had just said something about like the fake death match spoiler on Twitter, and it was like don't post things like that, and then it cut, and I don't know what you said after that, but I noticed when I looked at the image, and that was that image was made on the genius Facebook page like back in May, and someone posted it there. I didn't know what it meant at all. Ooh. Hello. Um, at that point in time, but I looked it up, and um, well, I didn't look it. <laughs> I didn't look it up, but I I had no. an idea. Uh, but I had noticed the first time that the backgrounds that they had, it was clearly from season two. Which image? The fake uh, death match spoiler where it was Jin Oh 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 okay. I noticed the backgrounds were from season, like they were standing in the season two set, and I had noticed that the first time. I'm like, okay, well, this is obviously fake. Um, but the one thing that I didn't pick up on the first time I saw it until I saw it posted on the the Genius Takes thing was that the death match. I that at first I had no idea what it meant, but then I just had a hunch, noticing it wasn't the actual like font that they would typically use. That um, I'll I'll cube you here in a second, All right. but um. Um, I, why don't I just wait it out until you actually get one in? All right, Ian. Um, okay, buddy. Uh, so you, maybe you two one out and I double a million times. But um, I mean, the, hey, man, optimism. Okay, now, but um, I noticed that it was um, it. I, I had a guess that it was StarCraft in Korean. Oh. And, uh, I went to I went to Google Translate and typed in StarCraft and it was an exact match. Ah, gotcha! Wow. So StarCraft joke. Interesting. Uh... Um. Oh. All right. Well, whoever it was, if they watch this recording, they're going to know that you disregarded them. Oh, It'll be come fun. on. I don't know why Mother would be calling at 11.46. Oh, is your mom? Like, yeah, and that's the thing. That's the joke. I'm like, I don't know why Mother, of all people, right? Um, I'm sure nobody's dead. Um, let's see. Well, are you sure, sure? Uh, 
don't make me regret it. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. As to, to quote Louis C.K. in a different context, he has a joke about like he once said that he wished his friend's plane would crash, and uh, his friend was like, well, "How dare you say that? What if my plane crashes?" And he says, "I would gladly trade your life for knowledge of my own power." Like, <laughs> like to know that I could have that kind of control over the universe, I would happily exchange your life. Not. Not that I'm saying that would be the case for me, but it might be. Sure. Oh, man. Let's see here. What am I doing with this? I completely disregarded those two back checkers. I was hoping you were going to fan out a little bit more. Yeah, I was pretty happy to uh, roll that three. Um, Let's see here. What am I doing? Uh, Move that down. Uh, I don't want to give you that triple direct hit, but... Um... That might be. I don't know. That's, that's, ooh. Um, let's do some, Yeah. let's go this way. Even though I'm really vulnerable if I do get hit, I'm hopefully not going to get hit. And uh, I also feel like I have some timelines here where your home board crumbles pretty quickly. It probably will. Let's see how this plays out. Give me a throw this here. Obviously, I'm wondering if I still have enough equity to not cube, to, like, gammon equity. Uh. Mm, here it comes. Not sure on that. If you make an anchor, you're in. Meh. I mean, yeah, but still, you've got a nice, nice uh, lineup going against three men. Oh, I'll fold that one. That right. was actually uh, the general consensus today. Was um, I, I play? I play well. Um, checker play, um, uh, but cube. I just I have to work on the cube. Yeah, sorry, I'm still here. I just ran to the fridge to get a Gatorade. I, re- I heard what you said. I was I just re- went to get a Gatorade. Sorry, yeah, that was that's bad. That's bad YouTubing. Bad. Uh, I did that. But um, but yeah, no, I just need to work on the cube. And then, uh, yeah. I think the other thing. I think the other thing is, uh, no offense to anybody, just given my age and, and obviously your age as well, you're in a really good position. Uh, So it's good. Uh, About what? Well, as far as getting actively good at backgammon, like... Oh, oh, yeah. At this, I, I was the youngest person by, I think, at least... I think the next person had maybe 10 or 11 years on me, and then after that, there was no one that wasn't in their 50s, 60s. Yeah. So... Yeah, that does, I suppose, make sense. What am, I do- uh, what am I doing here? That's the thing that's very reassuring. Every time I lose, I say I have quite a while to catch up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anyone who plays backgammon other than you. I guess Basile, but... Yeah. No, I, and I have one other friend who's into it, but it's super rare. I, uh... Yeah, I know. I had gotten a couple um, people into it at Tulane um, right before I left, but... but um, I'm going to feel so bad if someone's dead. If someone's dead, this is not going up on YouTube. Um, <laughs> no one's dead. Okay. God. I, uh, you know, do you mind if I just... Can we, can we turn the recording off? I actually might want to take this call. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. You're Ready? up. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. No, it's cool. I am uh, looking for, what am I even looking for? God, I have no good rolls. 2-2? Two, two? Yeah. Well, it's a time burner. Where are the time burners? Oh, that's not, you don't get that, but Chess Network. Jerry from Chess Network. One of, but incidentally... One of my all-time 
dream podcast guests, even though it'll never happen. This guy, he's, he streams chess on Twitch. He's oh, like, I think I know who you're talking about. He's like a masterful chess coach and just an insanely strong chess player. Um, check him out. It's at Chess Network on like Twitter and stuff. If you're into chess and you're somehow watching this, and you, uh, yeah, he is the man and is so funny. He has like catchphrases and stuff, and one of them is "Where are the time burners?" And uh, I would for like I don't even know what shows he watches. I doubt he watches any kind of reality TV, but I would love to do a podcast with that guy. <laughs> Even this out. Ugh. It's pretty wild that you can't even queue it because you're so stacked in the back. I know. I like. I'm thinking. Oh I man, I, I was thinking about queuing. Well, it's a battle. Yeah, it is. It could come down to who gets like big doubles first. Man, yeah, you're not missing. I hate it. Contest. Man. Um, let's see. How many checkers do you have left? Seven. I have seven. Playing to seven. So what's my best case scenario is you roll like a four, three, in which case you just pull one off and then it's seven to six. And I'm still behind a turn. So I'll pass. Because you have no real way of missing after that either. Yeah, so actually, what do you think about that um, that play that I had referenced earlier um, from today? I, I'm curious as to whether that was even correct on my end. Oh, go through it again. There. Um, so I think I had guy on three, t uh, guy on three and a guy on two, um, and he had, uh, I believe, two men on one. So if I hit a one, it was over, but I was on roll. Um and oh, and um, I had possession. Is this in your home double. board? I I was in my. It was the race. Um, oh oh oh! I see. Yeah. Wait. So and, what is it? You have a guy on three and a guy on two, and he has two guys on one. And I'm on roll, and I have possession of the cube. So you have double. to roll a. You have to roll a one to lose. Anything but a one. I believe so that's. Let's see. One, one. Okay. I should, I mean, we should obviously know. Is that. Well, it, it's, if there's, I mean, it's a basically a one can't come up on either die. Right. Right. So that's, what, what, what would that be? One, uh, in one in 36. It's 11 out of 36. 11 out of 36 yeah. contain ones. Yeah. So I reached for the cube four times um, the value. Um, I expected him to drop. Um given that I wasn't favored to happen, and um, he took, and I about had a coronary. Well, um, he needs, generally speaking, you need like a little over 30% equity to take, and that's right around what it is. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, yeah, I did not expect the take there. Um, well, I mean, I mean what's I 11 out of 36? It's yeah, over, yeah. or it's under 30%, actually. Yeah, and um, I had... Uh, it's actually probably had, a, a pass. It probably is a pass. Yeah, so I um I mean I got uh four three, so it it worked out yeah uh, in my favor. But I was I was really curious as to whether that was a pass or a take, or or even if I should have offered there. No, it's definitely an offer if he's fucking taking. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. I think it's your role. No, it's I'm not. Clicking. Is it? Oh huh? Jesus! I've been sitting here. I'm so sorry. I've been sitting. Here. Did you fan? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't notice. Sorry. I was sitting here going, I wish this kid would just hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Not that your story wasn't interesting, but I was like, why isn't this going anywhere? All right. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. What do I do here? Um, I might have gotten a little aggro here. I might have as well. I'm not sure. That'll do it. That's a nice roll. Now let's hold Ooh. it. No bar point. I had to come in first. Oh, whoops. I, yeah, that's right. I hit you. Something's got to be good here, right? How is nothing good with this roll?
What? I mean, I don't even understand this. What is this shit? Give me one one, I guess. Like what? I mean, this is disgusting. How is nothing good? That like might be the worst roll. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh man. I mean, no, this is disgusting. That's <laughs> what a what a ridiculous roll. One other thing I found amusing uh, from today was uh, I dropped several games when I was offered a cube, and um, uh, as far as scoring went, someone said he dropped him, and it's like, man, that usually doesn't happen around here. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, the, apparently they just take like crazy, is what yeah. I, what I've uh, figured. I mean, all right. Sorry. Right. No, it's fine. Take your time. That's a weird roll. I guess that's it. It's probably how I would have. Uh, Just because you don't have builders on a bunch of them. If you had builders on a bunch of them, I would never break that point. There you go. Yeah, it's still and not what great. Are you dealing with the other ones. Yeah, you can make the point, but what are you breaking otherwise? I mean, this is absolutely a pathetic position. That I'm humiliated, I'm a part of, but now I got to remake that point for sure. Oh man, Ooh, what am I doing with this? Oh, whoa, whoa, not that. Try that. This is absolutely disgusting. Like this might be the ugliest position that I've ever experienced firsthand. Let's hold it, dealer. You got a lot of looks. That's not one of them. Yeah. Is it my roller? Whoop. Here we go. Um, yeah, I'm way behind in the race. Got a nasty wall coming up. That's an easy pass, I think. Yeah. I have a lot of really good rolls. Yeah, absolutely. You probably still have, like, um, a, a fair amount of equity. Probably, I don't know if I'd want to be taking there. I guess it is just pure math, but it's just really, like, not my style at all to take there, where <laughs> I'm just, like, getting absolutely slaughtered so often. I hate those. Like, for psychological reasons, like, I think Sting... Staying like it's it just sucks when you get just destroyed in a cube game where your opponent cubes you and then just they immediately just everything goes their way. Um, yeah, or my favorite is like I'll make it a race and then just I'll get two one and then their their next roll will be double six and it's just like, man, that was not a good call. Yeah. I don't it see seems it. to always happen. I don't know what that is. what what's about that. Given that you already have an advanced anchor and I have nothing in the way of a home board, there's, I don't really see the value in making the bar by sacrificing my midpoint when I still have two runners, so I'm actually just going to run. I think that's by far the most reasonable play. Interesting. Let's see, what am I playing? Because the bar isn't really a value when you already have my five point. Right. Uh, no. It'll be a value later when I'm trying to bring them in, but I can make it later. And it's definitely not worth breaking my midpoint, which is, if I can just get my guys there, that's massive. This is interesting. I want to kill, but I'm not sure what to do with the other, uh, the, if a five, I don't want to break my midpoint, I don't think that's worth it. And I don't want to break the advanced anchor. And then, I mean, I guess maybe I would leave the blot on the five point to kind of slot it. We'll see how that plays out. That's interesting. Okay, not very well. Yeah, not very well indeed. Um, let's see. That would be damn near useless. Um, but we'll try that. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let's see. What am I doing with this? Um, I would say keep your midpoint because you're going to get looks down yeah, the line. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not throwing that out. You're going to get some good looks down the line, probably. Okay. Um, now, this is interesting. I'm eating yogurt, by the way. I got some yogurt during the break. That's, yogurt is uh, very good. Yeah, it's a pretty strong uh, choice when it comes to the snack game. Interesting. Another classic position. This one's in books. Um, hmm. Try that. All right, I guess let's start bringing them on down to Omeletteville. I'm at the part of the yogurt, you can probably hear it, where I'm scraping the bottom scraping of it. Scraping the cup? Yeah. yeah. Classic yogurt position, really. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <clears throat> All right. Hopefully the audio is better on this one, because last time you were very low and I was very loud, which is not uncommon. <laughs> I was um, I was listening uh, when I was driving out to play today. Fairly long. Uh, Watch this move. Hang on. Like Ready for this? I'm leaving yeah. that guy open, making this a little cleaner, because you got two blots in your home board. Well, I so. assume that's going to come. Well, let's see here. How's this going to come to pass? Uh, Inter now, this is interesting here. This is actually an interesting spot. I mean, this is that's hugely risky if I do this. This is quite. This is definitely going to be one of the uh, bigger sequences this of events. Turning point right here. Yeah. Right? So I have the anchor, which um, <coughs> to make an analogy to Big Brother, that'd be like having a veto pass, where you're like guaranteed to play in the veto. <laughs> I like it. Um, so, you know what? We'll play it. See, hopefully a nice yeah, man here. Yeah, for sure. Anything. For sure. Come on, come on. When you're down so much. No, no, no. I run good. But I can still run bad soon if I don't get a six soon. And even if I do get a Yeah, now that you're out, even if I do get a six soon, you can still easily re-kill me. I think it's worth it to leave the outfield and just move the guy in your home board. I would not have done that. I would have left two different oh. builders in case I rolled a six, so you have yeah, two shots at it. Variability. Because yeah. unless it's six six or six five, you're going to get two looks at it. The other thing I was uh, thinking was uh, that on the one point there. Okay, this is a really weird spot now. Um, let's. That's going to be a dead checker, but uh, I'm not really sure how else to play this one. I really, uh, I, mean, I guess I could smooth out the ones in back, but I'd give you a glance at it uh, on an indirect shot, which you'd probably gladly use to kill one of them in the back there. Um, I think I need you to fan in some way, so I'm just going to hope that uh, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Know. Plus, I have some awkward rolls. Like, look at how awkward. I have some weird rolls now. Okay, like, so. like, like five four or whatever is just disaster. Oh no, I guess I can run with five four. But let's try this. I can run there. Schwa? Schwa, indeed. 
What are you? Are you like throwing a pan across the kitchen or something? It, it always sounds no, no, like. No, no. I, I have a, a glass um, dining room table, and I play on that when I do any sort of like backgammon, computer, podcast, whatever. So I, I'm sitting at a glass table, and then when I get mad, I just kind of like slam my hands down on the table in irritation. Got it. Yep. Hold it. Six. Rip. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, I guess I could say schwa. But, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's yeah, that. Your, your, your uh, cover photo right now is super elite. I just noticed it like today or yesterday. Yeah, I've had it for a good while. And I mean, I think that... I think the best part about it is that it really speaks volumes about my work ethic at work during like the last few months I was uh, I was there um, before summer vacation because I mean that was like right in the middle of a class period where I just <laughs> would put that up when kids were like taking a quiz or something. Really? Yeah. That was a big roll. Yeah, that was huge. It's big. Yeah, I figured that was coming, and I will gladly shoot that down. Um, all right, six two. So we're at three two, me. Yep. Competitive thus far. So that's good. A lot it. more, a lot more competitive than it used to be. Yeah. Uh, let's put it there. Ugh, that probably is like one of the few ones that I'm not cubing when you miss. I think that's a must. And I guess that means that's a must. Um. Tough. Yeah, it is. Um. I think that's probably right. Yeah. Whoa. That's okay. Well, let's see. That's actually kind of awkward. Yeah, that is actually a really awkward to roll. Um, I guess it's not the end of the world. No. I don't even know how to play that one. Uh, let's go with 6 5. Yeah, that's what I did too. Actually. Let's, let's try to make one of these points. Let's, let's run the gammon risk and get insta bound. Let's try to make something happen, dealer. Oh man, come on. Mm -hmm. How am I planning this out now? This is a weird one couple of things I could do here that I'm seeing. Um, gonna tr play it relatively safe. I'd probably go double kills there. You know, that was that was the other thing I was going. It's just about. No, so no. scary when I, if I if I don't you kill fan. you. Yeah. Not only if I, I I don't even have to fan. If I just don't roll it too, it's like super disaster. You'll notice if you ever watch this video back that I was mousing over the double kills pretty. <laughs> I was very fearful. Alright, we're gonna hopefully get some looks soon. Probably we'll get them, but let's... We are not winning the race, but we are in a spot to get looks. So we're just gonna make our home board. Ian's gonna try to avoid contact, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I was I was driving out there. It was about uh, about a forty minute drive uh, from my place to where they they hold it. It's on the other side of town, which I have no problem with. But I put the Genius soundtrack on, and some of those songs you don't really realize it. But they're like nine minutes long. Yeah. Um, uh oh. So All right, I guess it's just weird, but um, yeah, it's kind of an odd one. I will take five one or five two. Ugh, I don't like that. I'll take it. 6-1. Ooh, a moot roll. Wow, I don't like that at all, dealer. 
we'll do that. And if you kill me, you kill me. Oh yeah, and you wouldn't mind that either. Oh jeez! <laughs> Are you? Uh, what a mess! This, this could be Gammonville here, kids. Oh man, this is not looking. That's a useful for, shot. Oh, yeah, it is. <sighs> All right, this one could get bloody potentially. Ooh, it could not get bloody. It could still. No! Dear, oh my god, this is a, this is an incredible sweat. Oh wow, there it is. That's huge. No, no! Oh my god. <laughs> Give me the ace from dealer. Oh my god. What an unbelievable swing. Oh my god, that was the most insane thing. Up here, but let's get you another one on the bar. Oh, uh, I need that ace from space right now, dealer. Space. What? It's got to be right now. No, oh my God. Come on, show me. Let's see. Three five would be nice right Shut now. Up. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> what an insane turnaround. What complete madness. Give me that double anchor. Oh, double anchor from space. Yeah, that would be really nice. A well-timed double anchor here could be huge. What? I mean, this is just classic backgammon right now. That okay. series of rolls was just so ludicrous. There she is. Uh, okay, so now this is now it's back in your end. Uh, let's see here. How am I playing this out? Gosh. All right, we'll do the three there. Man, the, kid, the viewers right now have got to be so excited. Yeah, this, all two... This one could go either way. What to do here? I think we do this. I think we're okay. Okay, yeah, we have time. We have time to roll another two. We have time. Oh, we don't have time for that. Um, let's do that in case we get a shot right now. We are not getting a shot. Ooh, are we getting a shot right now? The three is got to come from one of those two spots, kids. That is a shot. Oh man, and it is direct too. Good lord. Um, yeah, not about to do that. So yeah, it's gonna yep. be. Matt, have fun with it. Double direct, fan out, baby. Give me that. No such luck. No such luck. All right. Well, oh, that's critical. Oh, how the turntables! <laughs> to quote Michael <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Um, okay. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Um, what am I doing with this? Am I putting you on the bar, hoping you fan out? Is that FPS? Uh, let's see. Do I run here and just try to just get ahead of you, or what am I doing with this? Um, gosh, interesting spot. I'm so unsure whether to put it on your five point or to hit you down there. Um, For what it's worth, I have locked in my selection via mouse. Um, I feel like if you fan, it's so deadly. Whereas I... Yeah, as soon as you rolled that, I was like, well, I have fucked up now. Uh, you pulled the three? No, like, get back in. That's Give me that outfield. Cool. There we go, dealer. Give me that outfield. I need something. That's actually a pretty good roll for you. Let's see. How am I playing that out? Um, cover, and I don't think I'm running. You know, I am running there. It's a double double direct shot versus a single direct shot. So, I think that's right. Yeah, no hit. All right, let's keep this looks. This looks appealing. Come on, let's see. What'd be nice? Uh, no, that's not a whole lot. Of okay, well that isn't it. Um, 
play around there. Nope. Nope. Ugh. That's like... Not the role I wanted. Ugh, oh, can I even do that? Oh my god. I guess I have to. And yeah, I guess if you come around. Oh, okay. Man. Okay, well, seven will do you. Alright. Six, four. Do it. He has awkward rolls. Uh -oh. That's one of them. That's one of them. Unbelievable. This is a good game. Five. No, that's critical. That works. Critical. That's bad news, Bears, man. Three six. Oh, It'll so work though. <laughs> That's not hitting. Here we go. This is what it comes down to. Sweat of the century. Show me no five. Ah, there it is. Oh man. Hit on the table. Gotta hit a three. Oh. Uh. Three. No. No four. No four. <sighs> what are you doing? Like some sort of praying ritual or something? No. I've got to close my board out to win, so. There it is. Oh. Ah. Uh, there you go. Mmm. <coughs> No thanks. <laughs> yeah. Knowing me, I would sit there and you'd have it all in the one point. I'd be getting double ones. So. <laughs> Ooh, probably kill there. Eh, it's probably yeah. close. Oh, that's a good response. That makes it yeah. definitely a kill before. Yeah. But yeah. It's probably not that bad or anything. Let's make an aggressive play. Um, this is re I'm playing really sloppy this game for sure. Um, um, no, I don't think that's right either. Well, that's probably not correct. Oh man, I am so unsure what to do with this roll. I am going to. No, I don't even think that's right. Um, gosh. I have locked in my mouse moves. I don't know. That, that is was not what I was doing. Probably not right. I, I was killing and then playing two it. somewhat time burners. Uh, hmm. What are we looking at here? I mean, it's ugly. It's so ugly. Where's the 
versus what? I mean, what else is there to do? Nah. I mean. <laughs> Whoops. I, I, uh, I just remembered, I was like, oh yeah, it really shows a lot about my work ethic <laughs> when we're recording. <laughs> what? I just remembered, uh, I go, well, it really shows how my work ethic was uh, when I, I put that cover photo up as we're recording. Yeah. <laughs> of the odds of anyone listening to this, though, uh, slim to none, and I don't think they would care, so. Yeah, I don't think you're in jeopardy. Yeah, and uh, not to mention, during the last month of school, I'm pretty sure that that's pretty much the standard play. Uh, I hate myself for playing this. Like I hate it every yeah, time people, I have. To, I hate every time I have to make yeah. a move like that. People uh, have given up on the the dress code by then. Like I think we're all right. Yeah. Wow, we broke a six point. Yeah, I'm not sure about that at all, but we'll see. Come and get it. That worked out. <laughs> Choice. <laughs> um, you're gonna get some looks here. I hope so. That's not quite looks. It's really uh, tough. That's really tough. Because, yeah. I mean, if you break your six point, you're just saying, I want to give you looks later, and I want to have a shittier home board when I do it. So. Yeah. Um, um, I'd probably play the five down and I kill. I up killing. Yeah. That's, go, that was what I was drawn to, and then just take the risk. If you hit, yeah. if you hit, I mean, man, so it worked out all right. And you can go um, for the gamut. That actually really works really cleanly now. And now you're in a good that's gamut spot. Great. So now I'm in a decent okay. Um, let's see here. Two, six. Um, yeah, I may as well. Um, all right, that's nice. Um, no, this is the most excited I've uh, I've been since the uh, Park Unji shove against Kim Poon. Um, Sweet reference. Yeah. What'd you think of Jay bashing Monorail? Um, I actually was about to say, don't you ever say anything bad about Monorail ever again? Oh, yeah, but uh, I, I laid back. I think that's one of the better games that they have, honestly. I don't like this roll at all. This is, um, you know, fuck it. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. little hopeful gammon saver for me. Yeah. Because you don't get any in and I get out quickly. Yeah. No, I think Monorail is one of the better games they have. Yeah, if you were to listen to this. Yeah. Crossovers, kids. Where are the time burners? Come on, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> two, one out, man. Close enough. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not what I'm going to do there. One, two, three, four, boom. All right. Uh, double threes. Oh, man. Two, one. Ace. No ace. Yaw. Yeah. Give me that six. Uh, all right. No six. No oh. six. Oh. You know Antonio oh. Mazzara? You know of him? What's that? Antonio what's that? from RHAP? Antonio. Um, not ringing a bell. Uh, he does the voicemails from time to time, but I also really like He does a lot of uh, post-show recaps. That's what he's mostly on. Um, uh. The scripted series thing. 
Uh, he's watching, he's currently on season two, he just started grinding the genius and watched season one pretty quickly, and he just DM'd me, I swear I'm the snake or my mother's a whore. <laughs> an epic, uh, an epic moment yeah. uh, in the show. Uh, um, see, I'm not playing this now. Um, gosh, um. Well, three there, and then the six. Yeah. Do I just set up on your bar and hope? No, because that's triple direct. That's absurd. I think I just run with that one that I put in. Yeah. No, that didn't work out. <sighs> Where's the three? I guess it's there. I could have... Uh, I just... I literally just point with my finger at my screen as if the recorder will pick that up. That that other three is also probably yeah, uh, not clean. too bad. And this one looks like a good set of... Ooh, wow, nice response, though. And you got the four, so that's obviously... All right, response. we're going to bring down yeah. builders. We're playing aggressively. We don't care about indirect shots. I think I definitely uh, live life on the edge when it comes to indirect shots. I just, like, don't even think that they're ever going to happen. I'm like, yeah, it's only a two out of... two or three out of, uh... sometimes four out of... 36. Oh, man. This is tricky here. Um, I guess you just make the bar and you run the risk. If you hit a four, you hit a four. You're not going to want to break that anyway, I don't think. Not, not yet. Oh, no, here, what's this one going to be? Yeah, probably put you in the hit. Just to get another one back there. Hello. Wow. I'm actually okay with fanning. I'm okay with killing some time. But, uh, yeah, on the genius, though, I thought uh, Yoon's son, I mean, obviously, um, in this past episode, I mean, although it was probably not uh, her own efforts there, I thought that was actually really great. Oh, yeah. I thought she handled it really well, given kind of, you know, as we talked about, kind of an awkward spot. I actually have read, and it's actually probably one of the things that... Um, and actually, like, oh, yeah, Sucks is actually kind of on point with this. Do you think that excluding Yoon's son is almost a function of the patriarchal society in Korea? Uh, why? I mean, why aren't Kyung Ran and Jung Moon being excluded? Well, Jung Moon is, like, Dong Min Bae, basically. Yeah, um, that's true. And that was there. Uh, maybe was I shouldn't have even given you 5-5 five, five there, by the way, because 5-5 five, five is just lethal as fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to slot here. Um, but, um, well, uh, Jung Moon is Dong Min Bait, and Chung Ran, yeah, I guess that is a decent counterpoint. Uh, I critically moved the one off of the 5-5 five, five kill, by the way. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> I knew that was on the way. Yeah, let's push it. Let's go for it. Oops, come on. It just did that reset thing again. I'm like, it's such an obvious play. It seems like if it's a really obvious play, it just resets it. I don't know why. That's weird. Wow. Roll better. <laughs> what a ridiculous opening. Gotta go for that advanced anchor. Oh, man. What are we doing with this now? Yeah. Ooh. 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 Schwa is in order on that one. 
Yeah, absolutely. Ugh. Now you probably get some nice looks. Wow, that's kind of not what I wanted. Yeah, lawyer Yunsun, what a fox. <laughs> yeah. No, this season's going to be, like, I was thinking about it the other day, and it's both good and bad, I think, because it's going to be good in the moment, but we're probably never going to have anything better than this come along for in, like, reality. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I would uh, I would go as far to say as, um, this is gross. Absolutely disgusting role here. Um, ugh, what am I even doing with this? Yeah, that is... Uh, um, I don't even know. Um, what does this do? Okay, well, I'm going to have, you're going to get two direct shots anyway, so I'm, I guess that's probably right. Um, oh, that's actually, that's, that might even be better than the one that I was looking at. I was thinking of bringing them both down from the midpoint, just because you're right that I'm getting two anyway, and that looked less disgusting. Yeah, it's probably close. Oh, well, uh, um, let's see, do you hit in there? No. I don't think you do. No. Oh, that's a nice... Um, we still have looks. Yeah, well, we do this indirect shot and pray. Yeah, no, I actually, I would, even, I would even go as far to say, like, my interest in uh, Survivor um, last season, and who the heck is Turmeric? I don't know. Um, the, um, my interest in Survivor last season, like, super diminished um, as a result of uh, just how epic the genius was, and Big Brother... This season is well. I mean, obviously, I have a uh, you know a tie to that yeah that program, which keeps me pretty invested no matter what. But uh, yeah, I mean, strong. Yeah, showing. I mean, it's just so like much. there's just no way for Survivor Big Brother to really even compare. Yeah, the only way Big Brother could compare is uh, I think. And that, again, you know, not anything against the show. I have really nasty rules here, so let me. Slowly, slowly think about this. Yeah, that one's a look. If I uh, no, it it's like not. That. Yeah, a little optimistic there, by me. Um, but um, I mean, they could. I, I guess if Big Brother were to tone down on the twists and then like just like get like a really great cast together. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I know. If they could, if they were to tone down on the twists and they six five. Really strong, Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. If they were to get a uh, really strong all-star cast together and then tone down on the twist for one season, it would just probably... I mean, it, it has the potential to be up there. Yeah, definitely. If they would just like let them play actual Big Brother, but that doesn't seem to be on the table. Mm. The one is awkward. Mm. Yeah, that is. Uh, well, there's not really much else I can do. Hope you just pass up. No. Nice big numbers. Fuck. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> well timed. Well timed. Nice hit. Five to five. What a barn burner. Yeah, a really good one. Um, all right, let's play it um, the way the guru would not recommend. The way God, but yeah. the way God intended. Uh, wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, there we go. Um, let's go for it. It's five to two. Ooh. Let's play for let's play for the gammon, kids. Oh, okay. Let's make it exciting. But I'm honestly, not, I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm in a strong enough position already to play for it oh with the advanced God. anchor and so many shots to. Huh. I'm, uh, man, this is 
I, it's so early, I'm just totally confused as to what to do. I mean, in, in what department? The thing is, it's backgammon, and anything could change really quickly, but I feel like I'm just yeah. murdering you on every count at this point. Yeah, you've got the advanced anchor. And I have so many builders to make to make you really valuable points. Yeah, builders there. Um, shit. But, I mean, I the thing is, it's still I just... I to lose the game and then end up just losing the match on the basis of that. Um, and since you're ahead in this game so much, I think I'll just take a clean slate and, whoop, come on now. Yeah, the problem is now it's the Crawford game, so you can't cube right, this so game. I can't cube. But, uh, again, I just don't, uh... Actually, come to think of it, you probably have better equity to win that game than you do to win the next two, two games. games. That's probably true. So that's probably a take just because it's so early. But you are, I mean, I think I was just, there's, there's no aspect of what makes for a good position that you have an edge on me in there. Mm -hmm. And I have, like, You're no bad cool. rolls, and you have, like, no good rolls. Not no good rolls, but very few. Yeah, I mean, double six would be, you know... Yeah, yeah, a game changer, but... but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to hold my breath on that. Interesting spot here. So part of me is just saying I think this is, there's a hit is in order almost, but uh, oh man, just because I'm worried about you getting an anchor, but then again I don't think that really stops that anyway. Yeah, if you do that, I'm just shooting for a five instead of for a two, and then also I'm shooting for a three to send you all the way back. I think it's clearly run, right. especially when you're already ahead in the race. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. If this was earlier in the game, I might honestly get mad. I don't even know if I'd be greedy then. It's a close enough. There we go. I guess it's gonna. Uh, I guess we race for it all. Or I guess it's not for it all. Potentially. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite. Not quite content to make it a race. Yet. Tours need to stop. Um, <laughs> we could have contact, kids. Oops, it's not what I was going for there. Yeah. Good luck. Sounds like we're racing, have we? Yeah. Let's do it. Who runs yeah, better? Not, not off a good start. Neither of us are, actually. Yeah. Uh-oh. We don't like sixes, but we do like ones, huh? All right. We got two off. So, he's up half a turn right now. What a big double, big double race. Right? Oh, no. Give me those big dubs. Where is it? Don't give it to him, because then that's just over. Oh, I need it. I need 6-6 six, six or 5-5. Five, five. Oh, oh, that's big. That's big. That's bad. That it's a miss. Bad news bears oh, right man. There. It just really doesn't help me at all. Um, there's not even cleaning up. That's big time folly. Um... I don't even know how to play that properly. That's good. That's pretty good stuff right there. This is, wow, two off is huge. This is 
really, yeah. This is insane. Wow. Give me two Man. off. Give me two this off. This is just... Uh... There's... No, it's not two off. Oh, okay, give it to me. So for the win! Doubles, man. Ugh! Oh! Great time. Wow, we all play right, for it so all. Here we go. This is it. All right, good luck, man. Oh, my God. That was insane. Mm. Here we go. What's it going to be? thing I actually thought of, you know, is it really outside the bounds of the genius to just have 14 players and, like, adding a ah Young or Unji or something like that? Like, I don't know. I guess they're just really dead set on just having 13 or, or something like that. Well, I think they have 12 episodes is probably the situation. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're a lot more structured with how it has to go. Yeah. Not like the U.S. where they can just, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna do 98 days of Big Brother this year. Right. 17 people. Right. Let's go for glory. Ooh. Uh, uh. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 that doesn't really help too much. Fine. Uh, four. No! Yes. Four from Space uh, Dealer. I see a nice fan here. No, there no, no. There we go. Yes! Woo! Uh, yes! <laughs> On your bike. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What an unbelievable turn of events. What an absolutely insane thing to have happened. Yeah, that is up there and just absurd. Where are the deuces? Give me the deuces. That's like my only save. Where are the deuces? Kill me. I dare you. Where are the deuces? Where are the time burners? Where are the deuces? Dealers! Shingwa! Where are the deuces? Where are they? Uh oh. Oh, uh, well. Three, three. Ah. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh, six, five is good. Yeah, you might get a look here. And if so, I mean, I, I deserve to lose. Give me another one. Big. Fuck. Nice hand. Good game. Just resigned. Very good match. <coughs> oh. Man, that was uh, that was really lucky at the end there. Uh, wow. But but then again, it did take it took a lot to get to that point. Yeah, right? definitely six six. Obviously, could go either way. That, I mean, that's why yeah. when we play for money, if we're playing matches to seven, if it gets to six six, we just call it a chop. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, very good match. I'm yeah. Hey, you too. All right. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Never run bad. All right. See ya. Yeah, absolutely. Well, on that one, bye. <laughs> See ya.